Pulse Youth. This is your Wednesday night wrap up. Tonight we were talking about Luke chapter 5, weren't we? Absolutely. That's right. All right, so in Luke chapter 5, we were sharing, we only got halfway through the chapter tonight, which is a little bit of a bummer, but you know what? We spent some good time on it. But we got to see Jesus calling a couple of the disciples. We got to see the miraculous catch of fish. We, get to saw, we got to see and talk through healing a leprous man and still sending him back to go through the process of the, uh, the formal and ritual process of being declared clean, even though he was healed instantly right there. We also got to end with, as Jesus has been teaching crowds, that he would often withdraw to lonely places and pray. And where I think that that's important, and that's where we ended tonight, and I think it's a good thing, place to end, because it's a good point. We always forget about that, especially in whether it be the time in our lives that we start getting more independence from our parents when hitting the junior high years and then throughout high school, when we make choices of what activities we're involved in. Our life gets full of busyness. And the same as our culture with all the technology that we have between our smartphones and, and iPads and everything else that we have. We have music constantly around us. We have input and data and information constantly coming around us. And while that's happening, we don't often get lonely times. We don't get quiet times. If we're bored, we pull out our phone we text somebody. But I encourage you to do take an example from Jesus. That he would often withdraw from everybody else. The crowd drew from him. The disciples drew from him. He needed to draw from the Father. And we need to draw from the Father too. As we go through life, we will walk through life spiritually empty if we exhaust ourselves physically, emotionally. Because the people in our lives that we love, they all draw and take something from us. It's always good to have friends that we draw from as well. And those friends can be a time of refreshing. But that friendship that you have with somebody that draws and refreshes, it's still is not filling you up in the same way that spending some alone time with God would do. And whether it be something that you can maybe at first just try to work in once a week before you actually try doing it every day. And we can say prayers, we can do devotion time, that's not exactly the same. Um, when Jesus was withdrawing to pray, he was spending an extended amount of time with the Father, just him and the Father. And that is something we need to do with our Heavenly Father. So if you're digging deeper, this is your wrap-up, this is your dig, dig deeper moment to not just spend all of your spiritual tank. Hey, I had this great time in worship and I got filled up. Hey, I had this great time where I spent time with a friend and I feel like I got this energy. I'm just giving it away and giving it away till you're down to nothing. Let's not wait till we're down to empty. Let's just go spend time with the Father. Let's just say, Jesus, I love you. God, show me what's next. Show me more of you. People will often try to get, kind of get something confused where they see somebody who has a faith in God and they go, oh, that's a religious person. Oh, religious people do that sort of thing. It's not about being religious. It's about spending time with God. Jesus died on the cross so we could be close to God. We waste so much of our life not being close to God. That you dig deeper. Draw close to God. He promises he'll draw close to you. Scripture is full of promises that happen. That when you devote time, just you and God. So do that this week. Spend a time, whether it be times of praying, times of praise, but then times of silence. Times of just you. No music playing, no computer on, no phone, no friends, no anything. Just you and God. All right, so your ministry to win it challenge this week is to write a love poem to God. After all, Valentine's Day was just two days ago. This time, write one to God, not to somebody you like or somebody you have a crush on. It can rhyme. It should rhyme. That's the easiest way to tell it's a poem. But don't make it so simple. Roses are red, violets are blue. God, you loved me, so I love you. Make it something a little bit more complicated than that. You can do it. I know you can. Just try. And that was your uh, challenge last week, but uh, nobody picked up the paper, so uh, try it this week. Peace, <laughs> love, and rock and roll. <laughs>